Governor Eric Holcomb issued a proclamation encouraging Hoosiers to observe Juneteenth. He says it was an opportunity to, quote, reflect, rejoice, and plan for a brighter future as we continue to address racial injustices in our society today. Tonight, Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Carly Van Cleve was at several celebrations here in the fort. Hi, how are you? Juneteenth. The day in 1865 when the last U.S. slaves learned the Civil War was over and they were free. This year, several organizations stepped up to make it an all-day event here in Fort Wayne. The African-American young people came together and said, we need to celebrate Juneteenth. <laughs> Zinette Page has been a part of the Fort Wayne Juneteenth celebration for over 15 years. Not only that we need to celebrate Juneteenth, we need to understand what Juneteenth is about and the history of Juneteenth. Organizer of the Foster Park event, Courtney Lewis, says they decided to make each event link to the next. The reason that we decided to pair is because at the end of the day, Juneteenth and all of this is about togetherness. It started at Foster Park and later the crowd marched to the Health Hut Wellness Center. We were five strangers who just got together, so for that to have this kind of a turnout. While people are protesting in downtown Fort Wayne and across the world for Black Lives Matter. Hopefully this is a sign of change, but there's so much more to, to address other than just rallies and uh, marches. Owner of the Health Hut, Dave Thomas, says right now it's even more important for them to come together and celebrate their history. It is a day of celebration, it is a day of progress, and it is a day of uh, just coming together as community to further uh, the cause of what's right, what's truth, and what's just. That was Carly Van Cleve reporting. The Juneteenth celebration doesn't stop there. Tomorrow, the group Black Women of Excellence will be at Big Mama's Kitchen from 2 until 4, giving out free barbecue and COVID-19 care packages.